That is absolutely superb. Look at the layers in there. That is fantastic. So let's come in this side. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, look at that. So it's so easy to put together. I mean, it really is quick. It can be done with the kids, anything like that. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick. Today we're doing a really simple, easy trifle. We're making a trifle using tin fruit, sherry. We're using Swiss roll. We're not going to use the fingers. We're using Swiss roll, ready-made Swiss roll. We're going to use packet jelly. We're going to use packet custard. Then we're going to whip up some cream, stick it on the top. We got a trifle. Now this is a simple recipe. We're not beating eggs and everything else for custard. We're making it quickly, easily. Stick it in the fridge. It's coming to party time. Let's show you how to do it right now. Come on. Now I've got a tin of fruit cocktail and we're going to drain it. Let it drain a bit. We don't want all that juice in there. You know, we want the sherry on our Swiss roll. We don't need all that. So that'll just drain at one side. Next job, we have to make up some jelly because the jelly has to be cooling. So we're just going to take the packet jelly. Now, most packet jellies, they do say, tip all that in there. Add one cup of boiling water stir it till it's dissolved and then add one cup of cold water to let it cool down so that's our jelly powder in there we're going to add one cup boiling water we're going to give it a little bit of a dissolving and we're going to go in there with one cup of cold Give that a little stir around just in case we missed anything. Shove that to one side. That can cool down. I've got some ready-made Swiss roll. Now this is orange flavored roll. But that's irrelevant. You can use any flavor. And we want to put some of this in the bottom and up the sides. So we're going to cut those little ones into four. Don't have to be perfect. So we've got those. And I've got a little bit bigger ones here. Okay, so we've got this. They've already been cut, but I'm just going to slice these down there. You know, they are a little bit too big, and we're going to put them in our bowl. So get that squashed in the bottom of there the best you can. Okay, and then with these small ones, we just want to be coming up the side just a little bit. Like that. So that's looking just about right. That looks superb. Right. A little bit of sherry. Now don't go bananas. A little bit of sherry drizzled on there. It will soak in. A bit on there. That looks tremendous already. I can imagine that already with the jelly and everything. Right, in there our fruit bring it round to your sponge that looks tremendous and we want to be going over there with our jelly now you can have a big thick layer of jelly if you so wish I'm not going down that route 
I've got that and by the time I've got the custard on there and then I've got the cream on, that is going to be sufficient. That is going to be a fantastic trifle. So we've got to get that in the fridge and we've got to let that set for four hours before we can put the custard on. And then we're going to let the custard set and then we can put the whipped cream on. So let's get that in the fridge. Okay, it's been four hours. The jelly's set on top of the trifle in the fridge. We're going to make a custard layer. And the custard layer is going to be so simple because we're using packet store-bought custard. Okay, now you can use custard out of a, a tin if you want. That's up to you. Or you can go through the whole process of cracking eight egg yolks and messing around. We aren't going to do that. Okay, the instructions on here, quite simple. One rounded tablespoon of custard powder with two tablespoons of milk taken from two cups. So we want to put two cups of milk in there. Does it really matter if you take two tablespoons from that? No. Two. So we're just going to mix that in and blend that in there. Okay. Next part of making custard from a packet. One tablespoon of sugar in that milk. Flame on and we need to start that off to a boil. We're going to boil that in there and it'll melt the sugar. Then, normally what it says, you tip that into the custard and then reboil. We ain't gonna do it that way either. We're gonna tip this into that pan. That's the easy route. That's what we're gonna do. So I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, well, why are we not following the same way as the packet? But you know, does it really matter? No, it doesn't. Here's why it doesn't. This is a corn flour slurry, okay? Custard powder is made up as a big percentage of corn flour. This is a corn flour slurry. To thicken it up, it has to go in there and boil. It doesn't matter how it goes in there unless you get it in there. So we'll just warm this up a little bit. In fact, you don't even have to wait. You can just tip all that in there. And then we just want a little gentle stir as it comes to the boil. Starts to thicken up. Now we don't want to thicken this too much. We want a nice little layer of custard on top of our trifle. So you have to be a bit steady with this. The thing is with custard powder like this, it goes from nothing being really runny to being really thick, really quick. However, you can get round that, you just add more milk. So flame off, and we need this to cool down. Cool this down, and then we can put it on top of our trifle. Wow, that's looking superb. Just let this cool a little minute. It's just a little bit too hot to put over there. We don't want to be cracking that, that um, glass. So don't forget with a trifle at this stage like that, you can cling wrap that, leave it in the fridge, carry on tomorrow. It depends how soon you want your trifle. Okay, that is cooled down, not sufficiently, but it's cooled down enough to go in here. Let's have that over there. Okay, so there's our wonderful custard layer on top of our trifle. That's going back in the fridge. It's going to go in for about an hour, hour and a half, or until it sets. That's it. Okay, so the next stage of this then is fairly straightforward. We want some whipping cream. We want to whip up some cream. I'll show you what I use. I use this one. I like this brand. It's Irish. Oh, that's what it says on the packet. We want about 300 mils. About that much. And then we want to go in there with just a little tad of vanilla. About that much. 
and then it's just a job of whipping it up. And we've got some cream. So that's our beautifully set custard on the top of there. All we've got to do now is get a smidgen of this cream over the top of there. Let's start with that. See where we're at. And then we got some sprinkles over the top with some sprinkles. Oh, come on, look at that. That is one heck of a trifle. <laughs> oh, it must weigh about four kilos. <laughs> That is absolutely superb. Look at the layers in there. That is fantastic. All we got to do now is dig in and give it a go. So let's come in this side. Oh, 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 oh. I'm doing this the wrong way around just for the film. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, come on. Oh, take me back home. Mm. That is absolutely superb. There's not a massive strong flavor of any sherry in there at all. It very complements with the jelly and everything. That is superb. So holiday times come in, so this is an easy sweet to make. And obviously it is a massive portion there, you know. There's many people can have a bowl of trifle out of this. So it's so easy to put together. I mean, it really is quick. It can be done with the kids, anything like that. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.